So now we're going to start with the exercises. So just put your feet slightly apart. And while you're doing this, I'm going to guide you through not just what you're feeling physically, not just the physical exercises. Make a fist, tighten up your fist, and open your hand. Now this is the pumping that the physiotherapists tell you to do. So you're going to make a tight fist and open your hands. So what you're doing when you're doing this is you're pumping the blood through your arms. Now blood is what nourishes the muscles and it heals. So the more you get that blood pumping, the faster you're gonna heal. So you don't wanna go too fast and you don't wanna go too slow. Now the physiotherapists recommend that you start these exercises between three to five days after surgery. So you check with your doctor and start when the doctor tells you. Now, just gonna start, just, you can use both arms, okay? Just do a little swirl or just use the arm that you're trying to rehabilitate. So just do a little slight turn. So you're gonna start working. And if you're in any pain, don't worry about it. Breathe, stop, start again. Do these exercises three to five times a day, and I have to tell you, I did them about 10 times a day, and I know a lot of women who did the exercises a lot more than three to five times a day. There's no competition. You'd go at your own speed. It might take you two weeks. It might take you a month. It might take you six weeks, eight weeks, six months. I have one friend who is back in my, my exercise classes after, one week after surgery. But for me, it took me about six or eight weeks. Okay, now just do a little rotation of the arms, just working the shoulder to get the blood moving, to get the blood pumping. Okay, don't raise your arm any higher than it's comfortable. We're gonna start raising in a minute. So you shouldn't be in any pain in these particular exercises. Okay, now you're just gonna sway back and forth just to relax the shoulder. This was my arm, so this is the one I'm using, but you use your arm. And some women who have had a double mastectomy can just re redo the tape and do the other arm. I had one woman, I've, this is my second breast cancer rehabilitation video, and one woman who had had breast cancer surgery in one arm and hadn't used these exercises wrote to me after she had breast cancer in the second breast and said that her recuperation had been speeded up double time from doing these exercises than from not, and that she had a better range of motion in the second arm after doing these exercises. So I really recommend that you do them no matter what. You just go at your own pace, but don't not do them. And I'll keep explaining to you why not. Isn't that a lovely little song to do this to? Okay, now we're gonna start with the hor horrible, horrible exercise which is wall climbing. And I hated this wall climbing, but it's very important. Okay, now put your face, face the wall completely, and you're gonna start climbing the wall, one finger at a time, okay? Now, as you get up the wall, you're gonna start feeling really bad pain. So just stop and breathe out. And what I recommend, which is really fun, this is what my physiotherapist had me do, is mark the wall. To, to the level that you can get at. Okay, so you're gonna relax and start again. So you walk up again. Just use your fingers and walk up the wall. So because I've been five years, um, I've, my, my surgery was five years ago, so I'm considered 100% breast cancer free. Yay. Um, so I'm walking up slowly, but every day you're gonna walk up a little more. And even during that day, you'll walk up a little more and just keep marking your level and you'll start to see, hey, even despite the pain, this is working. So you're gonna feel this awful pain. You're gonna think you're gonna rip that muscle. You're really afraid. So keep working, don't be afraid. That's the most important thing. That's what I wanted to do this DVD for is to tell women not to be afraid that they're going to injure themselves. That muscle will come down. Mine was really protruding just like a guide wire in the tent and it came down going to keep walking up and you've got to keep walking up nice and slow just take all this this time that I'm taking you're going to as you get get better as you climb up you walk closer to the wall and you go up closer 
until you can get right up to the ceiling and try to push your underarm against the ceiling. So of course, the first few days, you're still gonna be here. Just Now you do the same thing sideways. So just keep going and use this whole song, just following me, you go sideways, and you're gonna feel it. It's gonna be very painful. You don't ignore the pain, but don't be afraid of the pain. So then you go up a little higher until your final day, you're gonna be right up flat. That's when you can crack open a bottle of champagne okay, and press hard. Okay, but it might take you six weeks to get up there, so just keep doing the wall climbing. And this whole song, it's around three and a half minutes, and that should be long enough for wall climbing. So just keep wall climbing and holding it. Sideways wall climbing. Just hold it, breathe with the pain, breathe out, and relax, and start again, wall climb. Breathe with the pain, relax, and whatever you do, don't be afraid. You will, trust me, you will recover, but you won't recover if you don't do the exercises. Okay, so now, the next thing we're gonna work on is what they call tying up your necklace. So a lot of women, and that, this includes me, I didn't do these exercises to rehabilitate this, the ability to tie up and I don't have as much range of motion in my arm as I would like. One arm is better than the other because I was afraid of this and I, I, I don't know why, I didn't see it on my paper. I think I was in too much pain. So now what you're going to do is slowly raise that arm up as you can, take the other hand and help you up, okay? And you're gonna pull the arm over, slowly pull the arm down Okay, so this takes a lot of time. Then you're gonna lean against the wall. And you're gonna use the wall to help push that arm back so you stretch out through the arm. And you're also gonna use this hand to pull the arm down so that then you get a very good range of motion. And this, I'll tell you, is like screaming pain at first. So you can only go a tiny little bit at a time, but just keep Keep working at it. Okay. So you do it for about as long as we're doing this now. Just keep working at it, pulling your arm over. And now we're gonna start with the next one. So you're gonna do the tying up of the bra. Very important. So you take your arm, you take the good arm, and you start lifting the hand up. So very painful at first, because the, the arm and the shoulder suffer from something called frozen shoulder, and it's numb, and it feels like there's a cement block in that shoulder. So you're going to lift up your arm, lean on the wall, and try to open your shoulder. And you sort of squeeze the arm, and it feels so painful. Don't worry about the pain, because just live through it. Be careful, pain is warning you, but in this case, if you don't experience the pain, you'll never ever get over it. But just go to a little bit of the pain, suffer a teeny bit, come out of it, wait two or three hours and do it again. And each time, pull that arm further across and further up, okay? This is, what, this is the part that women don't understand is that if you don't do it, you'll never regain that range of motion and your life will be affected. The other thing, okay, so do that exercise for about as long as we did this. Now you're gonna raise your arms up in front of you. Just lift them up all by themselves. And I know you're gonna feel as though whatever happened to this shoulder muscle, this one will be able to just fly up and this will feel like it's made of cement. So just lower it down again, sideways. Raise your arms sideways, made of cement. Really hard to raise that arm, but uh, I can promise you that within a few days or weeks, you'll regain the full range of motion in your arms. It seems really simple, but I couldn't do it. I could not raise my arms this high. I was very frightened. So if you're frightened, then I understand, but you can see how well I am now. And the only way to get to where I am is to do the exercises. So I, I would suggest you just keep doing them. You're, you can't hurt yourself by doing them. Just raise those arms up. Okay, now we're gonna go back. 
into the necklace. Tie up your necklace, pull that elbow back, lean against the wall and squish it flat. And you can really feel the tug. Okay, how's that? I hope that after six weeks of this, you're 100%. Arm behind you, bring it up as high as you can and pull it across and lie against it and just hold it, opening up that shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay. Just hold it there. The pain should be diminishing each time you do it and you just hold it and you just settle into it. And relax. Shake your arm out, raise it up again and open it out. Hold it there, breathe in and relax. Down and again, arms up. Hold them there and it helps to use both arms because the other arm works as sympathetically with the first arm and somehow gives you more strength. Breathe in and relax. Breathe in, open it out, lift it up, lift it up and relax and pull it a little bit behind you, just a fraction behind you and in front and so I hope that helps you. It would have helped me. I would have loved to have done these exercises with someone, so I really hope this helps you.